Okay, here it is, uh, just in time for RV season. This is a 2021 Flagstaff Microlite 25 FKS. And I'll be going over all the details that it has. Okay, starting up front here, we do have a exterior handheld shower. We also have a docking light. Uh, so you click this and the lights light up here. Um, we'll get to the outside cameras in a little bit. Uh, here's the distribution hitch that comes with it. It's a Reese 8,000 pound. I think it's an 8 to 10,000 pound deal. All the parts are there. We got some extras for you. Um, it's all ready to go, which just has to be adjusted. We do have a, um, I think it's Proven Industries lock. It even locks up the safety chains, which is fantastic. And you can't even open the uh, uh, receiver latch so um, that's kind of a neat thing uh, get a holding spot for your chains here and your power cord of course we got the electric trailer jack with again more docking light and uh, also manual crank for that which we have the crank for it um, propane tanks you get your two I think these are mm, I don't know what size are the big ones Plus, they have uh, two gauges on each one um, to show you where you're at with levels, which is a good feature. Uh, two apartment, combat, two apartment uh, capacity battery compartment. Uh, you get your sway controller as well. It's good for wind. Moving around, um, we have stabilizers, which are incredible. These are the PS2s. And there's a switch here to extend and retract. So this way it works is they self-level right to left. So if I want to bring these up, I just press the button and they both come up. And then bring it down and it automatically levels out from right to left. So it's awesome. Front compartment here for storage. Got a little motion light up in there. Um, these doors now are kind of cool so you have your entry door which has a it's called friction hinge nice feature because they won't just blow around on you it still has the lock um, but these things just kind of stay in place so you don't have to worry about that the steps are awesome they fold right in adjustable legs there are really easy to modify and adjust your storm door, your screen door, has a nice feature as well. It has what they call screenshot, so it automatically closes and it'll latch. So if you have the kids, that's great. You got your handrail bar here, you just lift and you can move that out of the way. Anybody that's into tailgating would love this unit. This one has a bracket for a screen, or yeah, screen, a TV, which we do have the TV in the back. All you do is unplug that one, bring it out here, you hang the TV, here's your outlet. If you're hooked to cable, you can hook it up there. So you have your TV right there. Then you have your griddle, and all this is uh, powered right off the propane in the unit. So your LP gas is here, underneath there. You hook your hose up, which is provided, and you got a griddle going for burgers. You get a nice outside little fridge, beer, etc. All that kind of stuff, and over here you have a two burner. Again, that hooks to the LP gas right underneath. Easy and convenient. Along with that, you get two marine grade exterior speakers for music. So again, if you're tailgating, it's awesome. The wheel bearings have just been repacked. They do have grease buddies in there. Um, so those are all set. Uh, that's about a $550 little upgrade for you. Electric brakes work fantastic. Over here, you do have another little uh, washing unit. This is great for washing that griddle and so forth with a hose and sprayer, hot and cold water. Here's your hot water tank. And again, your rear levelers are there with your button. Moving around to the back. Have a fantastic outdoor um, compartment here. This one, you slide it out and you can put tools and anything else in there. It does lock. And then on the inside here, we do have a water filter, and that's the um, device to remove that. Got your spare tire. This one does have a ladder, which is great. 
and moving up to the top here we do have a rear camera we'll get into those we also have a right and left camera as well um, over here is your fresh water tank your city water connection and your cable outlet connection or cable satellite connections and um, a uh, antifreeze which we do have the adapter for that for winterizing you do that yourself it does have the black tank wash line i have not been able to get that to work so i'm not sure what the deal is with that you have your exterior power cable the 30 amp which i do have it plugged in right now into a 110 outlet so i do have the converter for that as well this side nothing too exciting going on here you do have your uh, tinted windows um, everything has screens and blinds um, your slide out has all been uh, uh, the seals have been used with a spray that I have to maintain those even though it's a 21 it's brand new I'm kind of a freak with that stuff you have some more uh, stuff here you got a power suppressor you got a converter from your 30 to the uh, 110 you got a 50 amp converter there this is for winterizing uh, pressure um, uh, hose thing so you don't blow out the system and a cable line there are your controllers there if you need to manually uh, use that for your levelers and your um, tongue jack. And that is pretty much it for the exterior. I'll go up on the roof and show you some of that as well. did forget to mention it comes with two sewer hoses, uh, one of those slinky snake things, a Y connector, which is great because you got it both uh, two gray tanks. you got the uh, connection to the septic system where you can see your belongings come out and a hose washer. We also do have a black tank flush wand as well. Here's the on and extended. Up here you do have a Wi-Fi ranger for your TV antenna. Um, it has a built-in modem. Um, AC, it's your Mac unit. Um, I, I believe it's Coleman or something. Um, this is a cover for your bath fan. Um, your skylight for your shower, which I'm 6'3 and fit ph phenomenally in there. I've never hit my head. Uh, stink stack. And then if you want to put solar panels on it, those are the hookups. All you have to do is plug them right in there. I didn't show the wiring on that, but it is pre-wired. And this is for the bedroom, the vent back here. This roof system is the newer membrane that does not need to be sealed every year. Like I said, I do have a chemical for... The gaskets for slide outs and I did uh, spray that on there to maintain those even though again it's brand new. Here's that connection for it's pre-wired for solar that will uh, all you have to do is plug a solar panel unit in there and it'll keep your batteries charged and uh, run all your 12 volt items for you. Okay moving around on the inside here we have phenomenal front kitchen huge amount of counter space it's unbelievable outlets everywhere this pantry is gigantic can hold endless amount of things uh, all upper storage as well uh, even a little shelf unit there microwave is a very strong microwave in terms of power uh, does have a rotisserie your cooktop is a three burner you do have the splash guard which adds uh, for a uh, more counter space the um, Unit has lit knobs. Here's your sparker and for your burners. Your oven is uh, has an easy to light pilot. You have an oven light as well. And it is a very good size oven. Works very well. Um, you have tilt outs in the kitchen on each side for storage of scrubbies and so forth. Double bowl stainless steel sink with um, these uh, you know, cutting boards and so forth. The faucet is really convenient uh, in terms of stainless and so forth. Under here is great storage as well. And you actually have drawers with really real plywood boxes and slides. You also have a pots and pans drawer down below, which um, can fit larger items. Here is your control panel for everything. You have your battery testing, all your black and gray tanks, your water pump, uh, gas water here, electric water heater and your uh, tank heaters because it is a four season unit so it is, is, is insulated underneath your awning button for retracting and your slide for retracting interior lights this is an awesome one uh, plus i'll show that this has an app so we can control every one of these items here on an app 
So when I'm pulling up and I want to find my trailer, um, all I do is turn my app on and I'll hit awning light and it lights up the outside. So that's kind of a cool thing. Here's your Wi-Fi Ranger for extending your Wi-Fi. The lighting in here is incredible and you do have the ability to turn each one of these lights off manually or from the main switch over here. So it's another feature when you're coming up since it's hooked to your app, you can turn on your interior lights from outside the RV. Um, moving across over here, gigantic fridge with the wood panels. Do have extra hooks here uh, for hanging keys and coats and so forth. Freezer is a very good size. Um, gas and propane, or uh, electric and propane. Fridge is very good size, very comfortable. Um, you got a Furion TV here, good size with sound bar. The stereo unit does go and operate through the TV as well. So you can do DVDs, CDs, and it will play through the sound bar. Uh, Bluetooth on your phone so you can hook up music. You have three zones when it comes to it uh, for bedroom, exterior, and sound bar. So you can have that music outside. Uh, it's easy to hook up to your Bluetooth. This is kind of a little power accessory area. We'll get into this. This is the camera unit, which is great. Uh, we'll show that in a little bit. All your remotes all have brand new batteries for um, the stereo system, TV, and fireplace. The fireplace does put out very good heat. We've used it uh, in those chilly mornings, and it just blows out heat. I can heat the whole unit with that, um, and it's kind of cool looking. The remote controls colors on it. You can turn the flame off. You can do whatever you want from this and set temperatures, and it automatically goes on and off. Great size dinette area. That is the slide. It does fold down and will sleep too. Um, I would say more comfortable of children. Uh, the table is very easy to operate. You just pull this lever and it folds down and they connect right on there. So take those two back cushions, put it down. Heading toward the back here, here's your thermostat. It does control the heat and air. Your air unit is there. It's very flush. All your um, air controls are these ducts up here. So it is ducted through the ceiling. Ceiling is very well insulated with foam. So this does pipe the air through the roof as duct work. And uh, that works really, really well. Um, the bathroom, very large bathroom. Good size, again, uh, linen and you can hold tons of towels and all sorts of stuff. The toilet is a porcelain toilet um, with a very good flush to it. Uh, we have extra hanging in here um, with towel bars and uh, behind the door we have another hanging. Um, the shower is very good size. Again, I'm 6'3 and I have no problem in here. It does have the water miser so this unit will send and save you water by sending the hot water through the water tank so it doesn't go down the drain. Uh, the shower head does have the button to control its flow so you can save water. And again, that <clears throat> skylight is fantastic. Um, drain and everything on this thing is very roomy, very good. For heat, you do have heat in all the lower vents um, throughout the unit for heat. You have a medicine cabinet mirror, good good size storage, your sink, and storage underneath as well. That's your bath. Another cool thing is everything is on switches here, so you can control these lights individually. But you can see I just hit a switch, and I can turn them on and off, or I can go to the unit and manually operate it, which is awesome. This is my wife's favorite part of the RV. It does have a separate bedroom with an actual door. Um, again, hall lights, all controlled on a switch, so that is awesome. Um, this has a very strong magnet on it. It's hard to open, um, and it has a, a little, we'll call it a latch here for keeping that open. The master bedroom is fantastic. Excellent storage. This is all for hanging on both sides. You have one here and one over there. You have storage up in here, and what we did is we put cubes up in there, and you can slide those back and forth to get all your items. Uh, you get three AC uh, cooling vents up in here. Speakers is part of one of those zones. 
The bed is a full-size queen. It is one of those like a Casper foam mattress, which was incredibly comfortable. You have uh, drawers here. You have drawers underneath here as well. Um, we did use this in the winter months and it was extremely warm. Storage underneath here, which is on a hydraulic, it just opens up. The mattress is heated. That is the cable for heating the mattress if you wanted to do that. Um, that is just an access panel there. And then you again have a full size, I think it's a 27 inch TV here that um, you can enjoy watching in bed. It comes with the factory bedspread, the three throw pillows, and we're throwing in a uh, backrest pillow that is great because I don't have the greatest back in the world. So that's the master again, all the lights on a switch, and you can control those individually, nice reading light. We also are throwing in a blackout curtain kit <laughs> that we did because um, my wife likes it really dark. So we actually, instead of buying the insert for the vent, we just put a piece of cardboard over there and these blackout curtains can go on those rods so you have a complete darkness. I'm going to briefly show you with that app the exterior lights you can control on that app is the step light, which is really nice to have if you don't want it really bright. You have your porch light and then of course you have your awning light, which is an LED that goes across the whole area that just lights it up really, really well. Getting to the highlight, this is how the camera system works. These are night vision cameras. This one is on the right side, and as I pointed out earlier, we have one here on the left side. Okay, and we have one in the rear, which you saw earlier. So I'll show you how that looks on the monitor. Okay, so this is the unit. It's a seven inch LED monitor that sits on your dash. All you do is turn on your parking lights, which powers the trailer uh, lights, which is nice to have you know, running lights on. And then you have all these different controls for it, but it's already set up for you. This is your right side over here. This is your left side, and this is your rear. So you can see all the trucks and everything when they're coming up, if you, you know, can't get over or whatever, it is really, really incredible. And it works flawlessly. It's all wireless. And this thing just attaches in, into your dash or onto your dash if you want, however you want to do it. Lastly, I'll go over in a little detail here of what it comes with. The original factory book bag and all the manuals for all the appliances. Uh, which shows you what kind of filters to get. Here's about your Wi-Fi Ranger. The original um, Flagstaff book from, uh, you know, advertisement. Uh, the rubber conditioner. And um, I also will uh, use the slide-out uh, silicone for the slide-out and the uh, stabilizers. Got a few more tablets to get you started for the toilet. Also, you have a pressure test. Uh, the tires are already set for um, pressure gauge, so you can hook up that pressure unit on your dash if you want to see what your tire pressures are.